This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of The DC Multiverse, The Ray, and Rebirth Wonder Woman. Now, taking a look at the front of both boxes, we can see that the figures are showcasing your standard DC Multiverse window box packaging. Turning both boxes around, we can see images of the characters at the top. At the center, we can see the Collect and Connect Super Lex Luthor figure. And on the left, all the figures from this wave. So with the boxes out of the way, let's crack these figures open and see what we have inside. And here is the Ray and Wonder Woman out of their boxes. And man, I really do like these figures for what they are. They look great. I think Mattel has done a really good job with the sculpt and paint of these figures. However, they do have some problems that are kind of annoying and kind of pointless in a lot of ways and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But still, even with those issues, I think they're pretty cool action figures. But before we take a closer look at the figures, let's take a look at their accessories. So starting off with the Ray, we get both arms for the Collect and Connect Lex. We also get two interchangeable head sculpts and two pairs of interchangeable hands. And for Wonder Woman, we get the legs for the Collect and Connect Lex. Two lassos, an extra hand, and her sword. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a look at the Ray and Rebirth Wonder Woman. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the Ray and Wonder Woman. So I'm going to start off with the Ray first here, since uh, he kind of falls in the numbers of the lineup. So... I think this is a pretty cool looking figure. I do dig this quite a bit. I've always been a big fan of this particular design. Uh, I just think it looks pretty rad to be honest with you. I think it turned out great. Uh, the golds and all that look really, really nice. I love the sculpting of the jacket and whatnot. All look really, really cool. The tampoing of this like gold all, all across the white uh, came out really, really nice and clean. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised at how clean it actually did come out. So I think that turned out really, really good. And I actually like the gold on the white a little more than the gold like on the helmet and in the jacket itself. Uh, I just think this gold looks a little more natural and whatnot. It looks really, really good. So everything looks really, really nice on this guy. He does come with two heads. He has a smiling head right here. Uh, then he has this more like angry head and whatnot. Or a little more, uh, you know superhero I'm gonna fight you kind of face and whatnot uh, I actually prefer the smiling one for some reason uh, I just I don't know it kind of works for this character a little better I did just recently buy that uh, Ray movie that came out on blu-ray uh, was a few months ago and whatnot and I watched it. it was pretty decent for what it was so I kind of like the uh, smiling face a little better uh, he also comes with gripping hands which is cool uh, and I like the fact that we're getting extra hands but he doesn't come with anything to grip so it almost kind of becomes pointless as to why uh, he came with gripping hands. It kind of feels like Mattel just said, hey, you know what? Let's include some extra hands with him so the customer feels like they're getting more. But what Mattel doesn't realize is that we need a reason for extra things like this. He comes with nothing to hold, so it pretty is pointless. I kind of wish he'd come with more hands like that were kind of like more flared out with the fingers and whatnot, more like flight type hands, things like that. Uh, I think that would have been a lot better than gripping hands. These are just really kind of pointless for this figure, so I, I don't get that one. But anyways, uh, articulation, pretty good on this guy. So head is on a ball joint, does kind of roll around a little bit, does turn left and right. It is really tight, so be careful. Looks up and down a little bit. He needs a disc hinge. Mattel needs to start putting discs, disc hinges uh, in the necks and whatnot. He's just lacking a lot of head movement, and a lot of their figures are. Arms go full 360, up and out, very nice, like up are pretty good. 
Rotation at the bicep, single bend at the elbow, but he does get 90, so that works out pretty good. Rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we do get an ab crunch. I crunch is back about that far. It's a little hindered because of the jacket. Uh, crunch is forward, very nice, so that works out very well. Rotation at the waist, uh, hip joints get kicked forward that much. Back, not so much. Can do the splits all the way out, which is really good. Rotation in the upper thigh. We got double, double jointed knees that work really good. Ankle joints that let you put the toe up and down. And a really good ankle rocker. So that works out pretty good. So articulation of this guy is pretty dope. Again, I do like the way he looks and whatnot. Everything looks really, really nice, with the exception of his uh, interchangeable hands are just kind of ridiculous and, again, kind of pointless. And I will note that kind of both these figures do struggle uh, from standing quite a bit. So, all right, now let's take a look at Wonder Woman. So this is the um, Rebirth Wonder Woman based on the Rebirth comic books and whatnot. Uh, and it kind of has that Gal Gadot uh, movie vibe to the, the costume, which I think is cool. It works for me. Uh, I think they did a great job with this the sculpting work and all that. With the skirt, you can kind of see like some leathering, like scratches in there and whatnot. The golds all look very, very nice, and the boots and whatnot all work out great. The bracers, a little gold armband right here, a little gold uh, eagle WW logo right across their breast look really nice. The face sculpt I think looks really good. I think that's a solid face sculpt from Mattel. I think they kicked ass on that. The hair looks really, really nice with the blue streaks in there to kind of add highlights and whatnot. The tiara across the head look really good. The eyes look gorgeous. Uh, I dig that a ton. So I think they actually did a fairly good job with this figure. As far as like the sculpt and paint and whatnot, all look pretty, pretty good. Uh, we do get a sword that comes with a figure right here. Uh, and you can see it is kind of warped a bit. That was just in package the way it was. And I noticed it, the plastic is stressing a little bit right up in there, right there. And you can kind of see how it's a little wider. Uh, so just be careful when you're pulling that out of the box. You don't want to snap it or break it or stress it even more and whatnot. Uh, we do get one uh, close fisted hand for her right side. That's pretty cool. Uh, and we do get two lassos. Now we got a closed lasso like this uh, that you can hang right here on her side. Um, that's cool. I, I, I like that. Um, I mean, but I mean, it's pretty loose. It doesn't clip on there. It doesn't hold on there tight at all. It kind of just rests there. Uh, so I noticed whenever I was like posing her around and whatnot, this was just not stained. So, uh, like, like you can, it just does not it, at all. So you're going to be very, very careful when posing her and whatnot. Uh, that was just kind of a pain in the butt. So, uh, I wish they would come up with some type of better holster system for her lasso and whatnot because it just, it just does not hold on there tight whatsoever. Let me go do get this one right here, which is a little more extended, which I do like. I think this one looks really nice. I love the golds again uh, on this particular lasso. They look really, really good. And you can get some two-handed poses with that since she does have two gripping hands, so that works out really, really cool too. Uh, so let's take this sword off. Uh, now let's take a look at the articulation for her. So the head is on a ball joint. It does roll around a bit. does turn left and right a little bit, uh, but it is hindered because of all this hair. Uh, it, 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 it honestly is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, trying to like turn the head and whatnot and since the hair is so rigid and thick of a plastic um, It really hinders that um, head articulation right there. So the arms can go full 360 up and out very far Rotation at the bicep or excuse me at the elbow single bend at the elbow that just goes just under 90 Rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist uh, we do get a breast cut right here, which is a ball peg, so it kind of rolls around in there, uh, does turn left and right barely, uh, crunches forward, back and forth, eh, okay, I guess, it could be a little more, honestly, um, yeah, so, eh, that's okay, the hip joints can kick forward that much, back, not at all, we can do the splits, very nice, rotation in that upper thigh, we got double, double jointed knees, and I kind of look how that, the guard right here, the knee guard, uh, is on that actual joint, so that works out really good. Ankle joints allows you to put the toe up and down, and a really good ankle rocker. Now again, I was having such a hard time standing her up, uh, just because I think the ankle joints uh, don't work all that well. The way they rock and whatnot with the articulation, uh, 
she's she just does not stand all that great from my experience of messing around with her and whatnot. Uh, I do, however, think she's really cool. I think she's a beautiful figure. I think she looks gorgeous. I love the fact that we're getting this version of her in this line. And I think these both figures are pretty decent for what they are. They're not amazing, uh, but they're not garbage by any means. So I still think they're very cool, and I think they're a must-get. So for a quick size comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your multiverse comparison, here they are standing next to the other two figures from this wave that I've already previously reviewed. And just for fun, here they are standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the DC Multiverse The Ray and Rebirth Wonder Woman. Now overall, I think these are pretty decent figures for what they are. I love the look of both these action figures. The sculpt and the paint is very well done, but some of the choices for like accessories and articulation are just very terrible and I really wish Mattel would do a better job with stuff like this. It's this kind of stuff that's really holding them back from being an even more popular line. But still, even with those issues, I think these figures are pretty cool and I think they are definitely a must get. So I give both figures a rating of... 3 Bat Bombs out of 5. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.